Hello, you can see when you today, I'm going to go over the article headline data 25 of May. Housing market updates, mortgage rates surged past 70.1% for the first time since the bubble of 2022. Some buyers back off while others lower budget. We are continuing to see record breaking up and down for the housing market. That's what we are facing. Whole bunch of volatility, historic highs, historic low, record breaking this, record breaking that. I know it's not all legal news. It all depends how you look at things. As a consumer, as an investor, as a home buyer, have the opportunity to decide whether you want to win in this housing market or you're going to bury your head in the sand and lose in this housing market. So you have control. You can dictate your destiny and your narrative with respect to the housing market changes. Uh, but again, month housing payments hit a new record high this week as mortgage rates jump, pricing out many old buyers, especially those with limited bud budgets. But wrestling agents, which are that many serious buyers, are used to high rates and remain in the market. It tells you that after uh, nine months or so, this past nine months of, of the psychological taking over the high interest rate that occurred in the, in the second quarter of 2022, we have raised from 3, 4, 5 percent, which moved all the way up to 7.3 percent in the last October 2022. And now we are, we've been going through the uh, mix, the race of going back to the mid sickness in the past few months of this year. Now we're back up to 7.1 percent, going over the 7 percent rate. This is for psychological, another psychological triggering of the brain. However, because a lot of buyers, they are still very committed. They are getting used to the 6 to 7 percent interest rate. They are still more motivated buyers, qualified buyers than there are supply of inventory available. So therefore, this core group of buyers, they are not going to get swayed by the daily uh, mortgage rate volatility. They are pushing forward. They are intent to get their home come hell in high water. They do not care. They're not going to lose in this housing market because they see the value of home ownership. They see the value of staying at home for the next seven to ten years. Historically speaking, when you own to a house, Long term, seven to ten years or more, housing prices always go up. Most other people, they are paralyzed by the short term volatility. They are paralyzed by fear. They are frozen. The average mortgage payment recently has hit a record high of two thousand six hundred fourteen dollars, based on the median price of a home, about four hundred thousand dollars. But this number is based on a six point five percent mortgage rate. Now that the mortgage rate has hit 7.12%, with buyers with very good credit, you may have less than stellar credit, your mortgage rate could be higher, more likely than 7.12 as provided by the mortgage new statement. Go figure that, right? So this 26.14 monthly will be a little bit higher based on a higher mortgage rate. Therefore, this average mortgage payment will continue to see a record high. As long as we are seeing houses buying go up and up on a consistent basis, as long as the housing prices continue to go up, as long as the low historic low inventory are still occurring, as long as the mortgage rate means that mid six to seven or a little bit higher than seven percent, we will see continuing average monthly mortgage payment will receive a word record high, record high, record high for the foreseeable future. We all agree. That the rate increase has dampened home buy demand. That is true. Having homes has dropped 17.4% nationwide from a year ago on the week ending May 21st. Of course, mortgage payment allocation obviously is going to drop and decline at least this past week for 4%. But when there are new, uh, new data going to come out in the next few weeks, you will see NBA, the Mortgage Banking Bankers Association, their website probably show. Mortgage application would decline even further than 4% based on the mortgage rate has elevated to more higher than 7%. Does that make sense? Now, quotation sellers continue to back off, meaning the sellers are sitting at a historical mortgage rate that average of 3%. So 
So they're not going to sell their houses to move up as an upgrade to a home that, of course, more nowadays and having to pay 7% or higher, essentially more than doubling the mortgage payment. Most homeowners are sitting on a gold mine. Gold mine. They won the real estate lottery because they have purchased years and years ago and they have held their homes for long term, pretty consistent equity and wealth. Also, they have refinanced. Most homeowners back in 2021 with the rate around 3%, they refinance and lock in the historical loan mortgage and they're going to sit on their homes. They're going to sit on their asset, which is collateralized by the mortgage for the remaining 20 eight years. So they're not going anywhere. So that will only continue to cause an historical low supply of home inventory. All right. Furthermore, even though demand is down due to a higher mortgage rate right now, it is still outpacing supply. Okay. So economics 101, pent up demand is higher than the available why? Therefore, home prices are and continue to go up in value as of now. Yeah. So, anybody thinking about a music crash, I think you will be sorely mistaken. That is not happening based on the fundamentals, economics, one or one. Demand exceeding supply. I do not see any supply suddenly going to shut up to meet the demand. That's what's going on. Furthermore, I used to work for the U.S. government. I was in the U.S. only for 15 years in my previous life. I know how the government works. The government will avoid hitting the debt ceiling. Yeah, there's a talking point out there. People are on all the YouTube videos talk about the worst case scenario. If the government unable to hit the debt ceiling, housing market will crash. Mortgage rate will accelerate to 8 to 9%. It ain't going to happen. Right, so government will do their part, will be able to meet the deadline because they know there's nation economic crisis that will occur if they are able to dissolve their, their debt uh, by the uh, June, the fourth, the new deadline. So everything is fine with the government. They will do the right thing for the time. They will meet the deadline and we will not see a catastrophic situation with the housing market as a result. A lot of people did a lot of talk push out there, put trade into beer, we'll talk about that, but it's not a reality. So let's assume everything will be fine. If any kind of economic crisis, recession or whatever that is up, the Federal Reserve will most likely lower their rates as they try to prevent a recession. Again, if not all do the deal, the recession is going to occur anytime soon, it'll be a prior recession. If you look at the previous recessions in the U.S. history, the housing market are not that much affected, especially after the recession. The housing market will continue to be very vibrant. And that has been in past history. So it would be the history to understand the hard work, the recession work, is not going to break the housing market. Great. Mortgage rates passing several percent variant impacts on home buyers, some more price out, Others are unpaid. This seven percent number does not represent the same psychological barrier for buyers that we did back in the fall of 2022. So buyers these days are mentally they are prepared for mid six to seven percent mortgage rate and not going to be paralyzed by these kind of changes. They will push forward. There are still a lot of people that can afford to buy homes these days. They have good financial profile, they have good medical score, they have good cash and work, they have good income, they have good stable job. These individuals or the motivating buyers, there are more buyers than there are of limited historic low inventory. Let's continue with this. I would say, depending on the specific market, a lot of buyers are making huge down payments or paying in all cash. Go figure. See, the houses these days are still a very Great long term investment asset class. I would say, better what market? Some markets in Florida, where we work with our investors and in Texas, specific zip codes, there are like one third of the buyers paying cash. And then perhaps the other third of the current buyers are paying a lot more than 25% down payment. So that will lessen the impact of the mortgage rate. Of course, the people that are adversely affected by the higher mortgage rate. 
are people that are, have a limited budget. They cannot afford to buy homes based on lack of good credit or lack of down payment, or their income is such that they don't qualify to buy anyways. Furthermore, the first time home buyers, people with FHA type mortgages or VA mortgages is 0% down, and if FHA buyers is 3.5% down, the first time home buyers, they will continue to be challenged by this rising market and their ability to buy a home based on the competition out there are severely limited. That's the reality of it. There's very little we can do about it. All right? Leading in Kato, home buying activity. Again, the mortgage rate has really, is a big news. And uh, as a result, everything the hell, like uh, Google search for homes has been down. The mortgage applications have been down by 30%. And so let me see what else. Let's look at the data based on homes listed and sold during the period. Home sale prices decline in 29 metros. Yeah, we've been hearing this. We were in bus, boom time we bus, Austin and Oakland and Las Vegas and San Francisco and Sacramento have, have gone through some double, double digit declines of anywhere from 8.8% to all the way to 18% in the Western region, California, especially and Las Vegas, that are uh, be uh, uh, getting this kind of data. On the other hand, there are many or cases in other part of the country, which referee or any mainstream media does not talk about many areas in the Midwest and South and Southeast. The housing market is robust. The housing prices are increasing, but these are more in the market where home prices are low. They're doing well. They are increasing in prices. But again, the Midwest and the South and Southeast markets are not trophy markets as by any means and they're not excited to talk about the news media it's all about clickbait it's all about negative news they know to report all the dooming gloom scenario the world coming into an end the world is melting that's how they get their clicks and subscribers and what have you pending sales has been down pending home sales not home price declines which is very different in case you do not know by now they were down by 17.4% year over year. And the home sales fell home metros everywhere in the US. The lack of home to sell, the lack of transactions, because there's not enough supply for home. Just we're saying, look at a boom and bust market in the Western region. The pending sales are down like by triple digit. So the 3.1% in Seattle, San Diego, a whopping 32.4%, Portland 30%, Sacramento 30%. This pending, this new listing is declined by 40%. You know what's going to happen if this trend continues for the rest of this year? The supply of homes will be even less than it is right now. Nationwide, the supply of homes is around a little bit more than two months, which is extremely historic. No, it'll be potentially even lower. I suspect in the next few months, if these churns continue, the supply of multi home inventory will be about 2%. And by the middle of this year, if these kind of rates continue, the mortgage rate will be a whole ring around 6 or 7%. And the lock in effect on most homeowners may see supply of home inventory come all the way down to one month of supply, which is equal to the boom time of 2021. So that's the case. You're going to see some very challenging situation. Uh, home prices will even increase a lot more competition, both more offers, more bidding wars, and home prices will could increase later this year, especially when the, if the mortgage rate falls below 6%, either this year or next year. That's my prediction. All right. So again, today in supply is only, uh, inventory is only 2.6%. Four to five months supply is considered balanced. We are far away from the having a balanced market. We are far away from the you know, demand equal supply inventory and the new construction homes it'll be a while before they can even catch up even though according to recent data home builders are bringing more new homes into the market they will consist of one third of the pension home sales moving forward so there's a big gap we have to catch up because most resales most current homeowners they are locked in with a lower mortgage rate they are not moving anywhere that's what's happening Almost one third of the homes that went under contract had an acceptable offer within two weeks. So homes are flying off the shelf, especially your homes that are priced correctly in the market, and especially when homes are guaranteed, they've been fixed up, they look good, 
They get sold very quickly. We are seeing bidding wars and multiple offers, five to 10 offers per house typically, and five to 10% above this price. Many markets in the US or over the place, especially those homes that are lower entry level homes, they are the most desirable. More people qualify for those lower entry level homes below the medium price of homes in a particular local market. Does that make sense? So a lot of frenzy going on. Because of huge historic low supply of homes. All right, let me see what else. So let's go over the graph that we should conclude. And by the way, I'm literally going with something else. Let me go over the, the medium sales price, all Revson Mitchells. As you can see, this blue line here, right here, is 2023. The black lines are 2022. Look at the medium price changes. The middle of last year, there's a very at the peak of the price point up here, then the higher mortgage rate. Changes drastically have decreased demand and home prices went down for the second half of last year, 2022. Look at this. Beginning with this year, the median price of homes nationwide is 349K. Look at right here. Fast forward five months later, the median price of a home is around 376,000. We're talking double digit home prices increases this year. So you look at the graph, the home prices increases are trending similar to the home price increases in the robust housing boom of 2022 and 2021 20, right here. So people that were just in the past couple of years, you can see the amazing, look at this, look at this at the beginning of 2021, uh, the median price of a home is 300K now is $376,000. That's what you're seeing. All right, now let's get back to, uh, well, let's get back to our regular graph right here. Medium sales price, again, only a minus 2.2% year over year. However, month over month this year, the home has been increasing almost at around 10% to 375K as of May 21. So we are a very similar trend as in 2022. All right, and medium asking price is like a slight 0.2% year over year. And yep, it's really very robust. It's 2023 is very similar to 2022 year to date. And home buying, home mortgage payments has been increasing. Like I said, historic monthly mortgage rates have increased 12.7%. And, but this mortgage, monthly mortgage will be even higher because the mortgage rate right now is 7.1%. As opposed to 6.5%. So, of the date of this article, direct from May 21st. Okay, yeah, look at this. Look at back in 2020, May of 2020, well, the average medium price of mortgage payment monthly is around less than $1,500. Now, we fast forward three years, the monthly mortgage based on 7.5%. One two percent is probably higher than twenty six fourteen. Let's say twenty seven hundred. So home increase of fourteen hundred dollars monthly three years ago in twenty 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 twenty. Now around twenty seven hundred. We're talking. I'm looking precise numbers, but would you agree that the mortgage payment has increased by a whopping around eighty five percent, give or take? This is mind boggling. The people that purchase a home. Three years ago, before the pandemic, the mortgage payment was less than fifteen hundred monthly. Now, those people that are waiting to buy, so cost of waiting is very severe. The financial consequences of cost of waiting, not just these past few years, but over time, it's always nice to buy a house or buy a rental property and wait instead of wait to buy. So, that it is what it is. So, the mortgage payment. Based on more higher mortgage rate right now than three years ago, based on prices such skyrocketing in the past few years, your mortgage payments will double the amount in a mere two years. So that's why the home affor affordability is at a historical 40 year low. Now, let me say one more thing. In fact, let me say before I say one more thing, let me see go over the rest of the, uh, the graph first, and I would recap. Pending sales minus 70 percent year over year. That's without saying, okay, there's less transactions, less homes to buy, therefore causing pending sales to increase 17% year over year. Then new listings of home 
or still 24% less new listings compared to last year, late 2022. All these trending, decreasing numbers, it has a ripple effect, which will not look good, especially for new home buyers. At the listings, normally, the spring market is usually historically a very robust. Everybody want to buy a home every spring. Look at this. The new listings have decreased. This is a very exceptional to the case. Most of the time, after listings increased tremendously over many years, except this year, 2023, after listings has decreased, which is mind boggling, very rare occurrence. Now, the beginning of the year, the month of supply is two, three, a little bit more than four months of supply. That was back in January, February time play. Fast forward three months. Right now, May 21st, the supply of the inventory 2.6%. We see this vertical downward trend, the supply of inventory due to the lock in effect. Do not be surprised if the mortgage stays at the elevated mid 6% or higher. The uh, home, home, uh, home sellers are not selling. So we, and the lack of demand. So we may even see a supply of inventory. Could be less than 2.6%. Could be two, two months. Could be two months. The supply of homes inventory could be two months or less sometime later this year. And that is three historic low amount of inventory. Hidden sales down 35%. Everything's down. Home sale is t- it has taken 30 days to, to sell home, which is very quick. Much faster than the, during the pre-pandemic, so, uh, one third of the homes that are sold, they are sold above final list price, and the homes, the remaining two third percentage of the homes that are sold below this price, they are only sold one percent below this price. So many homeowners that are selling their homes very realistically these days. Okay, so as you see right here, All right? I think. As we concluded, my takeaway is this is a housing ice age. Everything is frozen. The home homeowners with historic low mortgages, they are controlling the housing market. They are manipulating the housing market. They're not bulging. They're not going to walk away from amazing lottery that they won with respect to the low interest rate, historically speaking, and skyrocketing home prices. They achieved not only in the past two years, of those homeowners that kept their houses for 10 years or more, their houses have tripled and even quadrupled in certain markets in the U.S. And so the home buyers out there, if you don't qualify, you don't qualify. There's very little you can do about it. Either could increase your income, save more down payments, get better, higher FICO, credit score, whatever it takes. But for those people that can afford to buy a home for what, uh, whatever it means necessary, you continue to wait and know what's going to happen. For prices will increase. Okay, and then we're hoping for the mortgage rate to come down. Okay, that's fine. What if the mortgage rate comes down to six percent or five point eight percent? You know what you know what you're gonna run into? You could you could compete against twenty or thirty other people bidding for the same home, thereby creating a higher price, sales price. In addition, the home prices are increasing right now for the past five months. So you could wait, and you might price yourself out of buying a home. All right. So that's what's happening. The cost of waiting it just does not make sense. It's just my personal opinion. I'm not a realtor, so I don't have any skin in the game, whether you buy or don't buy. But I'm just giving you a recommendation, right? Because if you buy now, or well, yes, the mortgage rate is quite high, but it can only be financed in the next year, two years, when the mortgage rate comes down to 6% or below, right? At least you capture the asset to sit on the property. You buy real estate and wait instead of wait to buy real estate. Again, but people that does not buy, they are, uh, they risk home prices to be higher. Like you may not qualify for the higher book prices a year from now, two years from now, or even the mortgage rate come down. You could be, uh, people, the buying expenses will occur all over again. You could see big wars because the amount of homes will be a lot higher than the limited model supply. The more competition, the more demand with a limited supply. Prices will continue to rise. So that's the facts, and you have to make those very important decisions. So, having said that, so if you see a lot of value from this video, please smash the like button. 
and also subscribe to my YouTube channel. I do need a lot more subscribers. And this is why, because I don't do clickbait. I don't have these, this, uh, misleading negative uh, headlines, the wall coming on, doom and doom, whatever. I just report very authentic data based on machine uh, research based on my 30 years of real estate investing experience. So that said, please quickly visit our website below, drop an email into the form to subscribe to my weekly turn to university investor newsletter. Once you join our free network, you will receive weekly market updates, lacking opportunities, real estate education, interview with top industry leaders, straight into your inbox that you just won't find anywhere else. We help investors, mom and pop investors, beginning investors, even though you have very little experience, regardless of where you live, we invest in other state properties, turnkey properties. This is our specialty within our network. We connect you with experienced real estate agents and experts in the local market. We have books on the ground in those hardest markets throughout the country, regardless of where you live. So you can just remotely, passively in profitable cash flow properties. That's what we do best. By entry level homes, anywhere from $100,000, $200,000, entry level home, new bills and resales, off markets, you put 20 to 25% down payment, even with a mortgage rate for an investor around 7% or higher, you can still achieve monthly positive cash flow as a benchmark to push forward and invest for the long term. Thank you so much for listening. This is C1Y. I will see you on the next video show. Have more say. Bye bye.